extra special warning. Our hosts do no research and preparation for these movies. They are just two cynical douchebags. They think just because they have ten years of bad TV under their belts, they are qualified to review these horrible movies. Oh! Jesus Christ there. I don't want to talk about this. Well, don't talk about it then. All right, go ahead. It's all you. Okay, this movie was horrible. Why are these movies on Netflix? Let's go. <laughs> That's it. That's all this movie deserves. It don't even deserve a full intro. It don't deserve an ending intro. It don't deserve outtakes. It don't deserve dick. All right, I guess that's it then. <laughs> yeah. No, we no, can't. We can't do it, we like can't that. do it like that. We owe so, them this. So let's just start it off normally, right? Go ahead, please. Hey, everybody. Burn Gutter here, and we're here with another one of the worst movies. Hold on a second. We always say Burn Gutter here. Burn Gutter here. They fucking know we're here. They can see us. Yeah. So let's just say, hey, this is worse. Movies. It's just the way it is. <laughs> when you start fucking doing the intros, you can do it however the fuck you want. Because like, when you do them, they're like, all hey. awkward. You're like, hey! Awkward, like I'm touching you while I'm doing it. Hey, this is worse. That's, really that's awkward. more awkward <laughs> than normal. Wait up! No, okay. We're here. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Bird and Gutter here, and we are here with another one of the... And son. Worst <laughs> movies on Netflix! Bird, Gutter, and Son. Like we had one. <laughs> But anyway, we're here with Mercenaries, another craptastic fucking asylum movie. Oh! Directed by Christopher Ol Douglas Do oh, Douglas. Olin Ray, Ray, because he gained Junior. a name at some the point thing. in between fucking Sand Sharks and this. He's no, wait a minute, was it Sand Sharks or no? Two Headed Shark? And Whatever, one of those yeah, fucking craptastic yeah. shark tech movie things. But yeah, you know, it just keeps adding on to his name to sound more sophisticated, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But anyway, it's an asylum movie, obviously, because if Christopher Olin Ray is involved whatsoever, it's a fucking asylum movie. Yeah, more likely. I wonder how much that fucker makes per movie, you know? $17. <laughs> it's 55 cents. <laughs> his dad's rolled over in his grave, and I'm not even sure if he's fucking dead yet. <laughs> but anyway, Would you even we know? are talking about mercenaries. Yes, we are. The asylum, all-female ripoff of The Expendables. Pretty much. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah, so let's go through the characters. Who okay. stars in this puke? <laughs> well, first we have, as our bad guy, girl, whatever, girl, woman, yeah, guy. old woman, our bad Brian old woman built looking <laughs> is Brigitte Nielsen. Ah! And in this... She looks more like the Red Skull than fucking Dolph Lundgren did. Well, let's compare them. What? Dolph Lundgren? Dolph Lundgren. Brigitte Nielsen. Brigitte Nielsen. 1990s Red Skull. Red Skull. Now, you can interchange them, I swear to Christ. They all look hideous. And they look Red Skull-like. But anyway, let's move on. We got Cynthia Rothrock, which is like the head of the CIA it, Roth task force. What the fuck ever. It don't matter. Nobody even knows who the fuck she is. Yeah, but she looks... She was a 1980s fucking martial arts film star, and now she has wrinkles and rainbow I, hair. I don't, know, I don't know if I would say star. You know, she was really the only female well, martial arts star in the She was the only female martial artist back then, basically. Not the only one. But the only one of any kind of notoriety. Yeah, you know, and I no doubt she could probably kick the piss out of you back in the day. Now, well, she probably still could kick the piss out of you. Yeah, you probably. Know? But her acting is, I'm not cutting the board as a person. I'm sure she's perfectly lovely. What have you ever, what have you ever did that before? What, not cut up on somebody? Yeah, why are you trying to be all like, I'm not cutting up on her personally. You never do that. You're always like, fuck that bitch and fuck her and fuck that. Well, I do that for the show, but I never normally say, fuck her and fuck that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Now, why are you trying to fucking make yourself seem like a teddy bear now? <laughs> teddy bear? Yeah. But anyway, her acting Not fucking really. is awful it in this. It is fucking awful. Yeah. Moving so on. I gotta call her a cunt or something. Moving on. We got Vivica A. Fox, played by Ving Rhames. <laughs> it looks like, because her fucking neck is so fucking fat. She's got Not even fat, fat, just big. Dude, she's got Evander Holyfield's neck. I swear to Christ, you know? Christ. Christ, I can't talk. No, I swear, if you go back and you watch, like, one of Evander Holyfield's, you know, fucking things, just put braids on him, dude. It's fucking Vivica Fox. And then we have the other member of the team, which is the chick from Terminator 2 and the awful Blood Rain Oh, we movies. forgot about Zoe Bell. Oh, yeah, and Zoe and fucking Zoe Bell. Bell. Pointy nose, Beavis nose. <laughs> Beavis nose, penguin like fucking. Semi Australian accent fading in and out throughout the whole entire fucking movie. Yeah. She was hot in that Quentin Tarantino movie, though, you know? Yeah, what 10 years has done. No. Oh, I know what happened, dude. <laughs> Jesus. But that's what happens. Jesus. 10 years. Oh. 10, ten, ten years. Ten, ten years. 
Cheers! And anyway, Jeremy catch Taylor. our gross point blank reference. <laughs> I but anyway, you didn't like Entourage, dude. It was okay. You didn't like Entourage. Jeremy Fibber was awesome, dude. That was that was a conversation from yesterday. Yeah, but still, good things. Yes, but you didn't like it. I did, but kind of as it went on, I stopped giving a fuck. Like I thought, Turtle and Drama were awesome. Yeah, I could give a fuck, a fuck, a fuck, a fuck, a flying a fuck, fuck, a fuck, and fuck, fuck, a flying, a fuck. I can't even say it. A flying fuck about. What's his name? I can't even think of the main dude. Adrian... Oh, what the hell is his real name? Adrian... Uh, Whatever the fuck his name is. I can give a flying yeah. fuck about him. Really? It was all about fucking drama and turtle for me. Well, I still... I li and I liked Eric. I liked E. Nah. I don't know. I liked that show. I, I, I didn't hate it. I wouldn't say it was great, but it was it was all right. And I think if they do the movie right, like they did the show, I think. But whatever, we're still continuing conversation from fucking yesterday's top five. We're talking about mercenaries. I know you don't want to, but we fucking have to. <laughs> okay, let's go back. To it. <laughs> I really don't, but let's but whatever. Go the back. president's daughter gets fucking kidnapped. Right, and we weren't exactly sure. I wasn't exactly sure who the president's daughter was because it, uh, I thought it was this chick, and I thought it was that chick. I'm like. Uh, maybe I wasn't paying attention. Or I passed out. <laughs> I blocked it all out. <laughs> but whatever, Cynthia Rothrock puts together this team from prison. Like, from a female prison. Right. Like, you know, that's Zoe Bell, Vivica A. Fox, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Big Rings. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they had a dog. To basically go to Russia. I didn't see the dog's profile, though. <laughs> to go to Russia and save the president's daughter from Brigitte Nielsen. Right. Thick. Fucking brick body. Fucking and the chubby shit. dude with the sunglasses that was her main henchman or whatever. Even the came where Steven Seagal. Well. He had the, you know, neckerchief. He looks nothing like Seagal because he had know. his real hair. But no, he had a oh, the fucking Seagal had thing. Oh, thick fucking, you know, goatee now. I want to cover that fucking, like us. Because, you know, when you're fat, chin. you got to have oh, that you fucking. Have, you got to have facial hair when you're fat. <laughs> yeah, you know? There's you no have fucking to. way that you're, you're go, you know, shaving full. That's why, you know, when my uh, Jamie's like, oh, why don't you shave your face? I'm like, because I look fucking fat. <laughs> Not horrible looking. You well, you look fat with or without facial hair, but a <laughs> little, just, it hides it a little bit. I just don't want to be walking around like Tommy Boy, like, Neh. you know. <laughs> oh, Chucky, hold me. But anyway, they put together this team to go to Russia and save the president's daughter. They, right. they inject them with fucking micro explosives, cliche, blah, blah, fucking oh, blah. Oh, kind of like uh, Kurt Russ, oh, you know, uh, Snake Plissken, they did. Yeah, that, they? basically. But honestly, throughout this movie, besides her accent going in and out, oh, Zoe Bell. Bell's not too bad, and no. A. Fox isn't too bad either. Besides her thick Evander Holyfield neck. If you say that one more fucking time, I'm sorry. the whole time we're watching Dude, this movie, that's all me. it was. was. Look how thick her neck is. Her fucking neck, her it fucking neck, her me, fucking neck. I remember her, you know, I mean, fucking, of course, Independence Day and other movies and shit. And I was, you know, and she was like slender and shit, but now she just looks beefy. I mean, she's older. I get it. You know, she's older. It's not like she's going to be thin as a rail forever, but goddamn, was she doing them Floyd May with her neck fucking exercises? Any different than the neck exercises you normally do like that's that? That's just burgers going down my throat. No, I was talking yeah, about yeah. you doing the. Oh, the, the sucking cock. Yeah, basically. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So does it feel a little weird talking about sucking cock with your son sitting over there? <laughs> he knows. <laughs> <laughs> He's found out about Daddy's secret a long time ago. <laughs> ah! But anyway. <laughs> Lots of slow fucking bow. Athlete, real blood. Yeah. Well, not real blood, real like blood. practical blood. Lots say, of squibs really and fucking people. stuff. Maybe a sign was like, fuck it, this is how we'll get attention. But they still have a fuck ton of CG fucking, oh, um, what's it called? What? Muzzle flashes. And lots and of slow motion, dude. Lots Tons and of lots slow of slow motion. motion. Them getting out of the helicopter is super slow. Were they even out of the helicopter? I don't know. Whatever no, they, they had a plane. Oh, that's right, yeah. That they couldn't afford to show <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> it was just a fog machine and them just walking all slow. But whatever, we're moving along and I oh. want to get this the fuck over with. So, Vivica know, A. Man. Fox double fucking crosses them. Blah, blah, double, fucking blah. Triple crosses. The team gets taken, Zoe gets shot in the shoulder and then falls on top of a truck. Brigitte Nielsen shoots at her a whole bunch of times. A bunch of times. But misses, I guess. Well, there was a lot of misses in this because there's one scene when they were in, in the car situation and all the dudes were on this side. Oh, they, they were, were like in a, in a hangar or something. Right, and it was like, like they were like 10 feet away, you know, and they're like shooting hardcore. There's no bullets landing anywhere. Nothing. Like, you couldn't hit them. They're 10 feet away. You got an AK-47. What are you fucking shooting at? 
Whatever. Fuck. But Zoe goes back, saves the fucking day, rescues the fucking team, they get on their fucking plane, they nudge Vivica A. Fox into a fucking truck and it explodes. Good, she's gone. Remember that scream she did? Blah! <laughs> she no. Blah! I don't remember. You were cutting up on it. Was I? Yeah. I was. I blocked it out. Wow. But anyway, moving on. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brigitte hanging from the side of the plane and then crawls up into the plane and yeah, blah, 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 fucking blah, fight, blah, blah, fucking was blah. Was she, like, here's the great part, is like she shot like a fucking thousand times, man. She was just in there, that gun, for some odd reason, a regular Beretta 9 millimeter. she's just like, blah, 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 blah. She shot like 50 fucking times, you know, and did hit a goddamn thing. I think she man. hit, what's your name, uh, Terminator chick, like, a couple times. Whatever, you know? it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. I they just, handcuff her to a bomb, they chuck her out the back of the fucking plane, over, she blows done, up. Yeah, done. blah. Ugh. The plane crashes where Cynthia Rosterock is, they all get the fuck out in slow motion. Well, nobody, they As little a bit of getting out. They banter, appear. you know, you want to work for us again, blah, blah, fucking blah, no, we want to go to ladies night at some bar, walk away, slow motion. Well, they asked President, uh, the President's daughter, do you want to join us? She was like, ah, uh, no, and like took off, and they were like, let's go get some drinks and stuff, all bloody and beat the fuck up. And then that was it. Horrible fucking music came on. Yeah, but and, speaking of yeah. horrible, yes. next fucking week, we are doing the worst of the worst. And we're not doing a worst of the worst like Troll 2 that's like the best of the worst or the worst right. of the best. We're doing the worst movie on Netflix as of right now. It is Batman and fucking Rob. It hurts me you just say No, it hurts me for being a fucking Batman fan and have to, going to have to watch this fucking movie again. Like that movie, man. I haven't watched this movie since like fucking no end. when it first came out. I'm like, talk about not even fucking trying. It's fucking Batman. You try with Batman, you know what I mean? I don't give a shit. But that movie is fucking horrible. Horrible casting, horrible acting, horrible all around. Horrible bat nipples, horrible bat credit cards. Oh, man. I mean, dude, everything around that era, the Schumacher era, fucking pissed me off to no end. You know? The goddamn day glow colors. The fucking well, fact let's that Tommy Lee Jones was playing the goddamn Joker. Let's not get into that. Let's save that for next week. Ugh. So anyway, <laughs> the that was Mercenaries. Next week, Batman and Robin. So for Bird and Gutter, this has been another one of the... The worst. Movies on Netflix. Netflix. We'll see you next week with the... Worst movie on Netflix. No doubt. Bird smash. Remember that shit? Oh, I remember. Oh, you remember? I know. And then Arnold Schwarzenegger. Everybody chill. It's a fun time in the yeah. old town tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Ice my balls. Oh. <laughs>